Well, welcome back. In today's Ask Dr. Clark video, I'm gonna tackle a very sensitive and controversial topic. Couples who live together without being married. Hang on to your seats, this could be a rough ride, but I hope and pray it is also an informative and helpful ride. Now, before I dive into the deep end, I want you to know that marriage and relationship issues, especially when you're in a crisis, are my specialty. That's my area of expertise. That's what I do more than anything else. Whatever your relationship crisis, I've got a book for you with a clear plan of action. And you can also, if you want to, do a 45-minute phone advice session with me. I do these over and over now. 80% of my practice now is phone advice sessions. People across the country. I'm here in Tampa, Florida. If you live here, I'll see you in person. But if you don't live here, you can talk to me on the phone. I'll give you a clear plan of action moving forward. It's important to have the right, biblical, practical, effective, proven plan. So go to my website, David E. Clark, Clark with an E, David E. Clark, PhD.com. You'll see all my resources, the phone advice, focus on the family uh, uh, interviews, uh, audio as well as video, YouTube channel, podcast, all my resources. Now today's question, and it's, it took, it took guts to ask this one. Dr. Clark, I am a Christian and so is my boyfriend. Okay, that's good. We have been living together for a year, not so good. And I'm beginning to wonder if it's a good idea. It's not. I'll get to that. I love him. I'm sure that. He loves me. I'm sure that's true. Fine. We'll find out if that's true for sure, but let's say it is. But our relationship doesn't seem to be getting any closer. Yeah, I know. I'll tell you why. What would you recommend? That was a gutsy question. It's a good question. My answer is to give you what I think and more importantly, what God thinks about living together outside of marriage. I'm going to talk about the high cost of living together without marriage because it's a sin and it is a sin. It's going to hurt you. It's going to cause harm. God only says don't do these things because they hurt you. Not to avoid you having fun or enjoying life, quite the opposite. Now, virtually no one in the Christian community is talking about this topic. I have made a number of efforts the last several years to get on on Christian media, which I've done a lot of in my life and career, and, and to talk about living together. No takers. A lot of people are gutless. They just simply won't talk about it. The silence from the church and the Christian media is deafening. Nobody wants to deal with it. These Christian leaders don't want to offend anyone. If they're, if they're dependent on donations, they can't take the chance. That's not my concern. I offend people all the time, as you'll see in this video and others. If you know me at all, I just want to speak the truth. If that's offensive, so be it. When I see a couple in their car driving toward a cliff, I warn them. If you are living together and not married, you are driving toward a cliff. In fact, you're already kind of going over. Now, as we all know, living together is very common now. Everybody knows it. In every family, just about, there, there are people that are living together. Younger, middle-aged, and even older. Nobody says anything about it because it has become a natural part of our culture in the church and outside the church. So many people are doing it. You reach a point where most churches go, well, mo most people are doing it. Now, we don't think it's right, but we're not going to mention it because they might leave our church. They might not uh, feel welcomed. Jesus wouldn't take that approach. He always spoke the truth for the good of the people. God doesn't care about the numbers. He has not changed his mind about the sanctity of marriage and the sinfulness of living together outside of marriage. He doesn't change his mind. People do. Even Christians do. God doesn't. God created marriage, Genesis 2.24. Society had nothing, literally nothing to do with it. God did not create living together. It is not an option he offers couples in the Bible. The only option for a man and woman who truly love each other from God in the Bible is to get married. That's it. No other options. Now, of course, you date, but you don't live together as you're dating and deciding if this is the right person. Here's the truth. And if it seems harsh, that's the way it is. It's just the truth from God, living together is a sin. I'm not going to read the verses. There was a number of them I, I could read that makes this clear. There is no question about this. 1 Thessalonians 4.3, Hebrews 13.4, just two verses that make it clear. Outside of marriage, uh, sex is wrong, sinful. Now, here's another truth. Because it is a sin, it's going to cost you because all sin has a cost. In my 35 years, listen to this, in my 35 years of clinical practice, every couple who has lived together, who comes in to see me, has paid a high price. No exceptions, which you wouldn't expect. It's sin, you will pay a cost. No one sins and gets away with it. God says don't live together because it will harm you both and your relationship. That's the only reason why it is not his design. He's the designer. His design for couples is marriage, period. 
So here is the high cost of living together that I have seen over the years of my practice. First of all, a loss of respect for each other. Boundaries are being crossed and respect is lost. You don't notice it at first. It's there. A loss of trust for each other. You're not all in. You're renting. You're not owning. And so trust becomes an issue. A loss of love for each other. This does not increase your love, this practicing marriage, but not actually being married. It reduces it. Here's a big one, a a loss of closeness with God. You're in ongoing chronic sin, and that is going to separate you from God. He still loves you, but you do not have fellowship with him. A loss of God's blessing on your relationship. Listen to this. He is never going to bless your relationship if you're living together. He's not. It's outside of his nature, and we all need God's blessing. Relationships are hard enough. And the high probability your relationship will end. Couples who live together tend to not get married or stay together. They they don't. The the statistics bear this out. Couples who live together and get married get divorced at a higher rate. There's a cost. So what do I recommend? For this dear person who's asked the question, had the guts to do it, and all of those who are living together, stop living together. Live apart and stop having sex. That's what God would say. That's, in fact, what he said in the Bible, that's what I'm telling you to do. Well, we have one place. There's financial things. Who cares? God is able to take care of you, and I'm telling you, he will honor you and bless you for making this decision. You could even save the relationship. I've had couples who've had the guts to break apart and, and do the work I'm suggesting, come back together, get married, and they're fine. God blesses them. But if you don't do it, different story. I recommend you each get individual therapy to heal from the damage you've done to yourselves, and to reconnect to God. You probably don't think that there's been damage done. There has been. Get some therapy, maybe a month or two, not long, just to kind of get back on track with God, receive his blessing and heal from what's happened. It's a reset. Then do some couple counseling to heal as a couple from what's happened and decide to get married or break up. There has to be a point where we love each other enough, we've reset and we're going to get married while living apart, then get married and or or break up, move on. Now, I also recommend you to get my book, Honey, We Need to Talk. This is a book I wrote literally with all couples in mind, but especially couples who are living together. Uh, It could be, uh, you know, engaged, dating seriously, living together. Perfect for you. Honey, we need to talk. You go through it together. You go through the steps in this book, 10 Essential Areas of Intimacy. It'll help you evaluate your relationship by talking honestly. You do it together and you'll decide to get married or break up. Now, my next video will also be about living together. We're going to do a one-two punch here. It will also help you take the steps I've recommended. And the title of the next video is The Top Nine Reasons Couples Choose to Live Together and Not Get Married. There are reasons. They're not good ones, but there are reasons, and I'm going to talk us through that. Now, you can help us grow our audience and have more impact by subscribing to my YouTube channel and tapping the like button. This will go a long way towards growing our audience. We're having an impact for God and his kingdom. Uh, Relationships between men and women are very important to him. And so if you can do those things, we'd appreciate that very much. And until next time, Dr. David Clark, Dr. David E. Clark.